Did Jay ruin his truck with 28 by 12? We put wrong bow patterns on this time. Oh, what? it's a caliper, Jay. Does it really? Oh, it's a caliper. No, I was not a male cheerleader, Jake. Jake's trying to be funny in front of the customer today. I see how it is. Jake's trying to be funny. Jay's all the way from Ohio. It's not very often that we start the video with the customer at the beginning of the video. I don't know if we've ever done that before. Maybe once or twice. I really don't put people, because it's always it's always first thing in the morning and I'm never in the mood to talk to anybody at eight o'clock. And I've had to, I gotta start telling y'all that. Don't come in here and expect this crazy energy for me at eight o'clock. I was that I was I was dead this morning at eight o'clock. As first thing I said to him is, "Let me wake up a little bit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you, oh, you're pulling it in, aren't you? I'll do whatever you I'm want. I'm sorry. You walked out of here like you were gonna pull it in the. You told them you were gonna pull it in the bay. A little That's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Jay brought his 2020. Is it 23 or 24? 24. 24. 24 first one Denali 1500. First one on record. 24 Denali 1500. That's getting a all red 12 inch FTS 28s and 40s. It's a special one. All red FTS, 12 inch. We've never done one of the big cross member 12 inch FTS kits. So it'll be a first one. Big boy. 28s, 40s, and I'm definitely a 1500 fan over the, we've we've done a bunch of 2500s recently. Richard Evans. And I'm definitely a fan of 1500s more. Richard Evans had the chrome one. And Richard, I know Richard watches the videos because he comments a lot. And I'm letting you know, <laughs> with Richard watching, I'm probably gonna like the red lift kit better than the chrome. Cause red's my favorite color, go Wolfpack. Red is my favorite so, color too, man. We Ohio State fan? Ohio State, every day, man. Same, same color. I, sure. I can dig that. I can dig that. So <laughs> it's just cool to start the video with the customer at the beginning. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I'm excited. Jake's got the keys. He's going to pull it in. It's the last time you'll see it like this. Good. I can't full, wait to see it, man. Full, man, full pimp this? my ride yeah, moment. You know, I'm more excited. I, I'm I probably won't even go to sleep tonight. At the end of the video, let's do the exhibit pimp my ride. Pimp my ride. <laughs> Pulling it into the shop. 12 inch red FTS, 28, no. 40s. Pulled in the shop tonight. Gold is golden now, right now. Look at the skin right now. <laughs> see the skin right now? I can't say it made 30 days. I may not be able to say that. It might be rough. Take care of my baby, that's all. Let's get his bread. We put wrong bolt patterns on this time or what? Oh, it's the caliper, Jake! Does it really? They should have put the factory ones in the back for you. They're tearing apart our 12 inch with the red FTS tonight so they can start on the lift kit itself in the morning. I wanted to show some love to this one that got dropped off Saturday. They had the lift kit done Saturday and we're only open from eight to 12. And obviously he came and picked it up later in the day, Monday. We've got this 20, what, 16, 17, 18 body style Chevy. They got a seven and a half inch rough country and some 26 by 14. Something that's a little unique about this one is it's got the, the brushed finish XF wheels on it with the spike lug nuts and these XF wheels come with the float and center cap, which is really cool. 35, 13, 50, 26 Furies with the 26, 14 XF wheels and that brush finish is super beautiful. And I really do like the color of this truck. It's like that kind of kind of forest greenish grayish, which is really nice. We don't see too many of those too often. So I want to make sure to show some love to my guy for coming through, spending time, spending money with us at the shop and building such a beautiful truck. <laughs> Mikey's going to blow the engine out of that thing.
Well, John, how are we feeling today, bro? Um, yeah. I don't know why we've never done this before. I had somebody give me a hat one time. I'm gonna shop a guy out real quick. Um, this was the guy was from Savannah. We did a body lift on his truck. This was back during the Bass Pro Shop era, and he gifted me this Bass Pro Shop hat from 51322. So this has been this has been from a while ago. So shout out to my guy from uh, from Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. Jay is from Ohio and uh, sent out a text last night that he wanted a matching Southern Tire hat. I didn't even know that we had Southern Tire hats in existence yeah, anymore. Brandon, Brandon, it's, it's, personal hat. He brought it from home. Yeah, this is the, one of the owners, Brandon. This is one of his personal hats, so it's not one that you can wear. And everybody at the shop has signed it but me. I was going to do mine last on camera for you guys. So we got Mikey outside. We got we got Leonard. We got me. We got Jake. Brandon's on here. And then I'm assuming we got Jose, Chewy, and Corbin on here as well. So this is the hat that Jay's going to be taking home with him. And just for the moment, just because I like to I like to document the moments. I don't even know what to sign on this. Like, what do y'all do y'all know Alex or like that wide bow tie? I don't really know what the I'm gonna put Alex on here then, just because I feel like my name is Alex. And we're gonna do the bow tie as well. Alex. <laughs> That's what I, that's we got Alex, told me Alex and that wide bow tie for the bread gang for him. And this is for Jay. And the one thing that we're going to do is, what's today's date? 2-7-24. Uh, 2 seven, 24 We're going to put the date on the bottom for Jay. Thank you, good Matching sir. Matching the truck, too. Yeah. It's not too often we get to do. They had, that was actually a good idea. I don't know who. Was that your idea? Was it mine? Yeah, it was. That was his idea. So, so it's just cool to be able to have something to kind of just yeah. solidify the moment in time, other than just the YouTube video, just kind of a little small appreciation from us at the shop. Twenty-four Denali. This one's getting the 12 inch, or already has the 12 inch. 26, 16s, and 40s, or 38. Sorry, it's got 38s on it. Um, we're having issues getting all of the Amazon rock lights to connect together. So I called Jeff and I said, "Look, no extra labor. Let me just swap everything out for you." So we ordered an infinite kit, and we've got 24 infinite off-road rock lights that we're going to swap out on the truck. Infinite's got the best warranties. Infinite's got the best warranties that we deal with right now. So shout out to Infinite for always taking care of us. It does have their quad row wheel lights on it already. And this is one of the last steps to get the truck ready for him to come pick it up on Monday. So we got to get all the rock lights swapped out, everything wired up. And I think we got, I think we got like a couple little small other things to do to the truck. But if you guys haven't seen the full build video, I just posted that one recently on the channel. Make sure you guys go uh, tap into the channel and like and subscribe, drop a comment on that one. And make sure you guys drop a comment below on the video because I'm reading comments at the end of every video. So if you guys want to hear me shout you out and read your comment, drop a comment below and I'll read it in the next video. First off, we'll say this. It's huge. You've always spoke about. It's huge. You've always spoke about a uh, fire engine red. I've always liked red. Red's my favorite color. I have a red lift kit on my truck. I have red wheels on my truck. This is probably going to be my favorite lift kit of the year. I mean, it's January or it's February right now. It's probably going to be my favorite lift kit of the year. I mean, just the color on this is absolutely insane. 2024 GMC 1500 Denali with a 12-inch fire truck red 
FTS kit. It's got the big 12 inch cross member, which I like way more than the small FTS cross member. And I have to give it to my guy, Jay. Richard Evans, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, I like the red better. I just, I do. You got, I mean, I, I wore my red Braves hat today. NC State fan, shout out to the Wolfpack. You know I like the red, it is what it is. All red 12 inch FTS kit, everything on the lift kit's powder coated red, upper control arm spindles, front compression bars, rear traction bars, everything. Shackles for the rear leaf springs, all of it's red. They even include the brackets to keep the magnetic ride control at a full 12 inches, which is crazy to me. Love the red, love the FTS kit on these trucks. FTS is one of the only companies for the 1500s that sells a full 12 inch kit. And I love it. I love McGoy's to death. I was on the phone with McGoy's today. McGoy's only does the nine with a body lift. FTS gives you the option to do all 12. All in one go. Everybody likes a foot long, right? Everybody likes a foot long. Where's Jared at from Subway with the foot long? Upgraded the upper control arms, all red. I was gonna say something else, I don't remember what it was. Like Jared? Yeah, Jared, Jared from Subway. You know what happened to him, right? Uh, let's bleep that out then, maybe. Front box compression bars, all red. And we got your rear traction bars, all red. The red color in the sun is crazy. Absolutely crazy. That's getting bleeped out. Absolutely crazy, I bleeped these out now, so just bleep, 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 every time. 28 by 12 Cali, are these invaders? Woo! Boys getting on it today. 28 by 12 Cali invaders with the chrome lug nuts. Hey, guess what? We ain't messing up no center caps today, baby. We ain't messing, we ain't finger no center caps today because them just don't spin. Thank God, because I might have broke this one too. I broke the last set. If you guys ever seen my most recent video, go check it out because I broke a set of KG1 caps and I got to fix that. We did do the 40s on it though. 40, 15, 50, 28 with a 28 by 12. I need you guys to let me know in the comments. We didn't do a lot to this truck. 12 inch lift, all red, 28s, 40s. We got to trim a little bit. We didn't have to trim as much as I thought we would on the front, but we did a decent amount of trimming on the back. I need you guys to give me an honest opinion. And I'm using this as the title. That's why I'm saying this in front of Jay. Did Jay ruin his truck with 28 by 12? I'm really surprised because I like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I've been skeptical the whole time. And I even said that we should have put him in some 20, some KG1s when he first got here. I've been skeptical the whole time. But red lift kit pulls it together. The Cali wheels do not look bad. The 28s have a perfect size for the 1500 truck with a 12 inch. The 40s look great. Furies with their total tire protection plan. 24s, 26, 28, 30. You gotta run the Furies on something like this. And the Denali's are killing it. As much as I love Chevy's, we're doing nothing but Denali's up here. Jake's gonna turn his channel into De Jake's lifted Denali or something like that. And he's killing it over there with that the Denali's. wide Denali. That wide Denali or, you know, Jake's Denali life or something like that. Anyway, we're doing a lot of Denali's. I appreciate you guys for always showing love to the channel. Jay, thank you for coming all the way from Ohio. So. Showing nothing but love, hanging out with us. He even bought me Taco Bell yesterday. Right? Well, I that. did. I went to even, feed y'all. Yeah, man. I forgot about that. I was, I was, I've been so busy the last couple days. You ain't Taco Bell too, right? So, I, I, I do eat Taco Bell sometimes. <laughs> Shit, fire. <laughs> I'm putting on the dad bod, right? And he, he was not helping. Bought me Taco Bell. Bought Jake Taco Bell. So shout out to Jay for buying us lunch yesterday. Two days in and out. Jay's riding back to Ohio. We appreciate you. Let's get his bread. I'm going to break my camera one day. <laughs> Trying to end the video off with something cool for you guys today. So we built this truck for Mr. Israel. I would say, hell, almost six months ago. 2022 body style GMC 1500. The beautiful gray Denali in front of me. And what is special about this truck is not the 9-inch chrome FTS kit. This is the perfect opportunity for you guys to see the difference between the chrome front cross member and the red cross member because we did a red one in the video so this is the chrome front cross member the size of the nine inch cross member is different than the 12 inch so this one is a little bit smaller but you can see the chrome cross member here on this truck what's different about Israel's truck is he's one of the first ones that we've ever done on a nine inch with 28 14s instead of 26 14s a lot of people do 26s and 37s this one's got 28 14s and 37s and it's got the kg1 spreader which is one of my favorite cuts the reason it is back today is we upgraded mr. Israel to to the front box chrome compression bars and the rear box compression bars. Now you guys saw the red ones on the other truck and this one's got chrome and the chrome fits the polished wheels and the chrome front cross members so freaking beautifully. This is one of my favorite trucks that we've done in the last year and I wanted to make sure to show some love to him at the end of the video for bringing it by and upgrading the truck with us again. 2814 KG1 spreader. Got a finger the center caps for you guys one time. Try not to break any more center caps after I broke one the other day. Nine inch all chrome FTS kit, front compression bars, and the rear traction bars to match. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we're gonna read some comments.
comments for y'all today. Make sure you guys comment under the videos because I'm reading comments at the end of every video. So if you want to see your comment get read and get shouted out in the video, make sure you guys are dropping comments under every video. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how to pronounce this one. I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. It gets me excited to see a truck from my area on the channel. I passed by Atlanta a week ago. Saw the exit to McDonough. Alex, one day I will meet you in person. I'm saving money to get my dream truck. Let's get this bread. Consistency, save up that money. If you save up enough money, anything is possible. Type. Lit Union Sparky, thanks for the shout out. Been a fan for a minute since before Chef Bowtie. Love watching the come up. Let's get this bread. I appreciate you, bro. Snapback FPV, all the little extra details in this video are fire. Every now and then I put more time and energy into the videos. It really just depends on what's going around the shop. So I mean, some days I get a lot of good content and it flows really well and it just comes together perfectly in the drone shots, everything goes together perfect. Some days the trucks are done so fast, I don't really get to film as much of it. So the video's slacking a little bit in content. MO Grow 420, let's get this bread. Hell yeah, let's get this bread. Stargazer 77, hey boss, can you do more dualies? Definitely JTX. He's referring to us putting JTXs on the truck in that video, but can we do more dualies? I have a dually that we're putting 26s on next week. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys can see when that video drops. Uh, Jeff Berry, that was Jeff's truck. Jeff commented, shit's fire, homie, see you Monday in ATL. He's coming to pick the truck up Monday. Evan Baker, 101, JTX for sure. Dis45891, just found your channel about a month ago. I'm hooked, man, great content. Maybe one day I'll bring you a truck to hook up. Much love from Cleveland, Ohio. The truck in this video is from Ohio. I don't know if he's from Cleveland. I think he's from Columbus. But shout out to my fans in Ohio. Shout out to my Bread Gang subscribers in Ohio. That's why we started the Bread Gang. Shout out to the Bread Gang. Shout out to the Ford Gang, too. I got a video dropping just for the Ford Gang soon. Ryan Banty 5601 where do you get the painted fender flares from? From the dealer. G Shell 2520 This is my finger center caps, buddy. Yep, break that cap. I warned you. I did. Yeah, that was... Creator, it's the first set of creators. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I broke the center cap in the last video, that's why. Uh, SN50 said, get that bread, let's get this bread, baby. James, your video is coming for the for the F350. It's in, it's coming next week, okay? Das Burrito says, finger bang spinner cap. Finger bang spinner gang. I'm gonna stop messing with people's center caps after I broke that center cap. And the last one I'll do, what's going on? Uh, Andy Stevens, 5682, what's going on with your truck? My truck has really been sitting behind the shop with nothing going on for like two weeks. So some very big changes coming to the channel. Ultimately, I can't do anything to those changes and move forward with those changes until the truck is done. So just know something huge coming to the channel when the truck finally gets done. Ultimately, I'm about 90 to 95% done building the engine. Engine is ready to go back in the truck. We've just been so busy at the shop that we haven't had any time to put the engine back in. So as soon as I get time at the shop, the engine will go back in and we'll get some more uh, original bow tie content. But make sure you guys drop comments on the next video and I'll give you a shout out at the end. Let's get this bread.